Hi everyone. Welcome back to Berry Mountain. Happy hour. Happy hour. Berry Mountain. It's kind of brunch today, Sunday. January 10th, 2016. We said we'd be back in 2016 and damn it, here we are. Here we are. Hi. No idle threat. <laughs> what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about our goals for the mountain for 2016. Goals. I have a list of like 15, but we're only going to do our top three. Okay. Okay. Number one. Number one. We have a bridge on our property, and uh, we need to, how do you call it? We need to have a load. Load-bearing evaluation. We're going to hire an engineering firm, some civil engineer or a PE, professional engineer, and they come out and they look at our bridge abutments, and they look at the I-beams that span it and the length, and then they've got sorcery and magic that they do. And then they come back and say, your bridge will support, that's a 10 pound, 10 ton bridge. And why do we need to do this, Tim? Oh, because we need to be able to find out if we can get a cement truck across that. If we cannot get a cement truck truck across the bridge, that is going to significantly impact uh, what we build. And for, more, our, for our forever home. For everything. Yeah. What we build and more importantly, how we build it. So a cement truck weighs, I'm sure you all know this, about 65,000 pounds. So rounding that up, we, we need to make sure that this bridge is a 40-ton bridge. If it comes back at 40 tons or more, that would be great. And why do we need all that cement? Well, you know, it just makes a huge difference for everything. You know, pouring footers, foundations, slabs. You know, otherwise you're mixing everything in a little concrete mixer a cubic foot at a time, and it will take you forever to do everything. So if we can't get a cement truck across there, almost all of our buildings will have to go back to, to uh, post foundations. Mm. Um, but, you know... Because our goal, what we and I think we've mentioned this before, is we'd, we'd like to have a concrete dome home as our forever home. And that's where you've actually got a whole... Dome is completely made a out of dome? A, a dome. A dome home. A, do a, a dome, dome home. Is that okay? It's a dome home. Okay. Well, let's not talk about that. Let's let's just we're, you know we're on pins and needles. Uh, we're hoping to get this done this month, but uh, when when Cross we find right when we find out, then we can sort of look forward to the future and right. start thinking about what we want to do. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Okay. Two is uh, we are going to have to deal with all those piles of shrapnel from our land clearing and that is our goal is to get it all processed <laughs> and that will probably involve some equipment rental right because you said there were two pieces of equipment that we'll probably need to do to, to yeah do i think i think i want to i want to run a skid skid a skid steer which is a bobcat a bobcat with a little front end loaded air kick so we can move some dirt around um and then uh you know obviously a lot of chainsawing and then the second piece of equipment is actually for the third goal, which is we're going to rent a little a little excavator. Now, uh, my what? mom has said on her bucket list is she wants to actually drive one of these little earth-moving machines. And so this year, Mom, you're going to be behind the wheel of either a skid steer or an excavator because... God save us all. <laughs> but it's very weak. Um, but yeah, the excavator will be to dig all the holes for the orchard. Orchard, which is goal number three. Goal number three. We want to get our orchard planted this year. And uh, we've developed a plan. We know how many trees, what the spacing is. And considering the number of holes involved, let's bring in some and, equipment. And we want to, you know, we these are trees, these trees are expensive. Uh, so we want to dig hundred dollar holes, million dollar holes. So we're not, we're not going to, you know, do the bare minimum and, uh, we're gonna we're gonna dig a nice big hole and fill it full of good soil and uh, yeah. give these trees the best. And and when she said we developed this plan for how many trees and how far it, it, she did thousand dollars worth of trees, you know. Thousand dollars. <laughs> so yeah, that those are our three main goals this year: bridge evaluation, dealing with the piles, and planting our orchard. Right, and the bridge evaluation is small, and somebody else does it, and it'll be done fairly quickly. But the spill-off from that is obviously, you know, as we think 
dream, design. Our decision tree will be at, at that juncture. Right. All of our all of our buildings, all of our buildings, from our homes to our sheds to our barn, everything is hi highly dependent on uh, what that comes back on. Okay. And so I think the last thing that we wanted to talk about today were two shout outs. Shout out. Shout outs. One is to Brad and Krista from the Big Family Homestead channel. Brad and Krista, these are your soaps that you mm. gave to us. They're goat's milk soaps. They are the most wonderful things goat's ever. Milk Thank soap. you so much. I'm loving those. They smell the house up beautifully. And then two, um, one homesteader family that we've been following for over a decade, Anna and Mark Hess. They have a blog called WaldenEffect.org. They also have a YouTube channel, but it's not really highly populated yet, but I would suggest you go check it out. She is amazing. She's a writer. He is an inventor, and they are homesteading in Virginia. And uh, we've been following them for almost a decade now, and they've been an incredible help, and uh, they've been very fastidious about taking notes about their experiments on their homestead, so it's a very useful Really good resource. blog. Really, really good blog. So home, uh, Walden, WaldenEffect.org. And that's it. That's Quick it. And Quick and dirty. All right. We say that, but then we get back and we're like, that was 10 minutes? What? These are too long. See you next time, y'all. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>